Dave, thanks for talking to us. Just before we get into to the weekend, let's just wrap up what happened the other night. It was interesting that there was a nice little article that quite a lot of your former players were in the stand watching you as well. That was, that's good to see. I'm, I'm one of your players who's got a bit of a contract problem as well. Yeah, look, we treat them properly. So they're like, what I, I, I believe, you know, you'll have to ask them, but I do believe that we treat them properly and we, we create the environment that they're all mates and uh, they can thrive at this place. Which, which shows, you know, I got told Paul Green were there because it's around the corner kind of thing because you know, it's Pontefract. You know, people don't come and get together and see former teammates if they haven't got that band, they haven't got that unity. Um, and, and, and a love for the club, that's the, that's the bottom line. Footballers are transient human beings, they tend to drift from place to place to place, but this club, it, it does have a special bond with players, especially the young ones. But then you, you Paul Greaves in this world, who've been, you know, to plenty of clubs and to real top level. Obviously, it's two of his former clubs. It's 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 easy to catch up with quite a few old teammates. So yeah, and I think that's a a really sort of good, uh, you know, fitting note to end on. On, on, on the night, if you like. Well, you did take a lot of plaudits from, from the game for how brave the, the boys were and, and put every bit of effort they could in, into it. You now hope that that is the kickstart. You've got to kickstart your league performances. Yeah, yeah look, we, we've had a tough start, we know that. We've been, after the first game of the season, have we had five out of six away? Mm. And we've literally gone from Hartlepool to Portsmouth to Oxford to, to Leeds, and I don't know where else we've gone. And we've got another couple of away games coming up, three. The next three are all away. So, when you say that the first ten games, we've only got two at home, and one of them was the first game of the season, so it's not in the middle of that run, then that's, that makes it tough to get momentum. That's not an excuse, it's just fight, it's just how it is. Have we got to be better? Yes. But we will be. Like I said, we, we've lost a hell of a lot of players. But we'll, we'll keep coaching them, we'll keep working with them, and you, you can see that there's flashes. We've got to become far more consistent with it. But the other night, it was they, they set their own standards and that they can't fall below them now. It's the final fixture for you before international duty for the league. I know you've got your Papa John's to come in that, but has it come at a welcome time? Because you've said about you know settling in a, a, a new squad of players. Yeah, I th I, well, I think any break at the minute is welcome because we've had Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday for what is it, three weeks? We've got another one next week, so you know to be able to coach them, irrespective of whether it's because of a Saturday game or if it's not a midweek game, whatever it might be, will will give us opportunity out on the training pitch. So you know we've got to um, take full advantage of that. Has it surprised you that you know in the last few seasons you might have had a, a few little defensive problems? Actually, defensive defensive wise, you're looking. Fairly strong. I know you made a few mistakes, but at the other end of the field, it's become very difficult to get a goal. Has that surprised you? Um, yes, and yes, and no. You've got, you've got to remember we've we've lost a lot of creativity out of the team. You know, you've got Kirky and you know even Pixie and, and, and Perry. They, they, you know, we've got Owen who's not very well, and you know, before you know it, you've you've lost a hell of a lot of your creativity. So we've got to make sure that we. Um, Instilling people what they need to know and how they need to go about it and get the best out of those those players And you know, we'll be fine That change of system though, can it help, you know, whether you stick with it or not, but can it help your sort of Potent type of play around the penalty area, the creativity, the way that you set up the other night? Yeah, uh, any, any formation that gets the best out of all the players helps Did we look okay like the other night? Yeah, we did We did, um, you know, we, we played at, at Fleetwood last year and, and did well. So we know that the players can take to that fairly quickly. We're very limited, um, you know, instruction, if you like. So obviously, if you're naturally exposing them to that, then you've got to take that into consideration. What's that transfer window looking like now for you in terms of where, where you're up to? It's getting closer now to, to shutting, the, shutting the window. Yeah, it's, it's looming large over the horizon. Um, you know, it's it's a busy time between now and then. You know, we're obviously off down to Charlton tomorrow. Game Saturday, Sunday. Does everyone work? Because we will be. 
Monday's a bank holiday, does everyone work? Because we will be. Tuesday we've got a game. So, you know, that it's a, it's a, it's a, um, a busy few days for us. Are you expecting some business? Yes. Ins? Uh, more ins on, than that? On, only ins. Only ins. Mm. <laughs> only ins. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. The, if somebody comes and offers, yeah. what, you know, what, what, what we can accept, then I'm sure the chairman and the board will, will, will speak to each other, but that's not happened. Well, as you say, you're focusing on a, a couple of training sessions before you go to Charlton, who haven't been able to start their season well, have they either? Yeah. But uh, it's, it's all down to you because, you know, the la last six years there, you were, you were excellent. Yeah, I think um, I, th I think Nigel is a good manager. I think they've got a, a big budget. I think they've got good players, but they haven't made a good start. We've got to make sure we take advantage of that. And Charlie Kirk, we expect him to be around it as well. Yeah, it's a quick reunion. Yeah, it'd be great to see him. I believe he was there last yeah. night when, uh, on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it'd be good to see him. I, 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 um, I text him on Monday. Um, yeah, I text him on Monday. Um, no, nothing to do with football. Um, and it'd be good to see him. And just one final point, I read your article in the magazine, Nicky Maynard's around the club. Where, where, where's, that, where's that going? I've spoken to Nicky. That'll be... Um, that'll be an ongoing conversation, if you like. He's available, is he? He's one of those non-contract players anyway. Yeah, of course. So the, 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 deadline, doesn't yeah. Affect him. the deadline doesn't apply to him. Um, in fact, you might think he's more valuable after the window. So there's, you know, it's supply and demand, and there's less supply after the window. I don't know. You'd have to ask him. But um, yeah, we all know who Nicky Maynard is. We all know what he is. We'll see.